document click on uh, doc create new document and we want the intent to be for web um, leave it at one page we're not going to do more than one page make sure facing pages is off and leave all the default settings you want the orientation landscape hit OK okay now that we're here we can zoom out control minus zoom in control plus first thing we're going to do is change the color of the background now to do that we go over here to the left hand side it's called the rectangle tool click on that we need to pick a color so I'm going to choose a color up here black and I'm just going to bring a rectangle across the whole page there we go we've got a black rectangle ignore the uh, blue and purple lines they're just there for uh, orientation and margins let's go over here and let's click on the selection tool now click outside of the page so nothing selected so click around here we're going to start bringing in the joker and the um, the playing cards now just in case you don't know what we're creating this is it here it's um, it's also in the folder so the joker appears and then some joker playing cards up here around here okay so it's an animation okay so first of all let's place the joker in let's go file place now this folder these assets are in student share computing InDesign the animation folder and you'll see Joker and Joker card the first one we want is the Joker let's bring that in and to bring it in click and drag and you will adjust the size now remember after you've brought in an image it may look pixelated now this is just to make sure that InDesign works at the highest speed so it drops the quality down to change this you can go to view display performance and make it a high quality display when you export your image it will always look good so don't worry about it too much I'm going to position my joker roughly center if you wanted to resize it you have to hold control on your keyboard and then move it down without holding control you will crop your image and you don't want that so make sure you hold control if you want to um, adjust the size of your image first thing we're going to do is go over here make sure you have interacting on interacting and then on the side panel you should have animation click on animation you'll see the name of the picture which is Joker under preset what we wanted to do is basically fade in we wanted to fade in when the page loads the duration of the fade well we could maybe make it two seconds we only want it to play once we don't want it to loop we don't want the picture to be seen before it fades in so we want visibility hide until animated good you can preview this by clicking on the preview button down here and you can see the joker fades in the next thing to do is bring in the playing cards so let's go file place bring in the joker card and oh, it's too big let's go back Okay, and I'm just going to draw a small shape like that and then I'm going to rotate it a little bit control C to copy it control V to paste it and you should get multiple cards 
move them slightly, different orientations, put them in different positions. Flip them around if you want. We're going to put around six. Okay, that'll do. What we're going to do now, we've got an animation on Joker himself. We're going to have to put some on all of the cards. So I click on the first card. The name comes up there, Joker card. The preset we want is a fade in. We want fade in maybe two seconds. We only want it once. And we want to hide it until it actually animates. Let's do that for the next one. Click on the next Joker card. Choose a preset. We want it to fade in on page load. This one will make it one second, maybe a quicker fade in. Visibility, hide until animated. Okay. If we don't have this selected, when the page loads for the first time, you'll see the card immediately. So you want this ticked so the card is hidden until it's turned in the series of animations. Okay, next card, this one here. Fade in, hide, next one, fade in, hide, fade in, and hide, and that's the last card over there. Now before we export it, let's do a little preview, let's have a look. Kind of small, but we can see it. I'll do it again. Joker comes first, and then the cards. And because I changed the seconds on some of them, some of them come out a lot quicker than others. If you wanted to change the order, okay, maybe you wanted Joker to appear after the playing cards. We could go over to timing and we can just adjust where Joker sits on the timing. So maybe we want him to come at the end. So I'll drag him down. So there he is, he's on the bottom now. If I do another preview, first the cards are shown. and then Joker. So when you are ready to finish, what you've got to do is export your file as a flash file. So we're going to go to File, Export, give it a name like Joker, save it in your home drive, okay? So make sure your home drive's on the computer, then your name. I'm going to put it on the desktop, but you guys should put it in your home drive. Format is a Flash Player SWF. Don't pick any of the others. That's the one you want for now. Hit save on that. Now this other page that pops up, make sure you have generate HTML files off. Scale at 100%. Interactive page curl off and then click OK. InDesign will now export it and you should find the file in your home drive. That's the file there for me. I'm going to open it up and let's see. And this is a flash file. You can embed this in, into a website or something like that. It looks great. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial.